Yo, Vissant here. In this video, we're just going to go over some tips that you may or may have not known while you're playing this game. So, first of all, mana board and memory gems. They actually help your power quite a bit, so you can concentrate on those. And if we go in here, we can quickly go over the stat rundown. HP, MP, kind of spells this self-explanatory hp if you're zero you're dead mp allowed you to catch more skills strength increases your physical damage con increases your physical defense so you take less damage from physical attacks it increases your magic damage spirit increases your magic defense so you take less damage from magic and luck increases your crit rate so if you go to the mana board this is the real first tip um concentrate on their strengths of the character. So if you're a physical attacker like Kevin, for example, you don't need int. Why will you need magic damage? You don't do any magic. So just save your coins and not bother leveling those up. So concentrate on like strength, con, MP is the use for everyone and HP, obviously, of course. Um, so, all right. So the next one is that a lot of the four stars have this initial ST gauge, which is your special technique. And it doesn't go over a hundred percent. So if you have like a card that or memory that gives you extra ST gauge, it's kind of useless on these four stars, right? So make sure to use it when you can as well, right? So in the battle, if you actually get to full, every time you do extra combos and whatnot, it will not actually go over. So I usually try to use them when I get them, um, try to group them together and then just unleash it all at once. So then next time you do combos and stuff, you can start building it back up. Speaking of special techniques, if you actually notice in the party screen, there's like a 25% on these, um, my party leader and party member one. That is because they're the same type match. So if you have the same, um, let's say earth and earth, right? You get that 25% buff to your ST gauge gain. I'm not sure if it actually increases your stats, like a stat stick, but um, according to the FAQ, for sure, it does increase how fast you get your special technique. So just keep that in mind. And of course, depending on the rarity, it would, the base rarity, okay? This, you notice that my Popoy is four star now, but it still gives 25% because that is the base. So if you actually give like a, a four star or a two star, it will be up higher or lower. Now we're going to talk about weapon type characteristics. As you can see here on FAQ, there's a list of each weapon type. So sword gives you super armor skill. Knife, easier to achieve combos through normal attacks. Um, so I'm assuming it's just quick quick attacks with, with knives. Gloves, increase your attack speed every time your combo goes up. Pull arm, every time you do a dash, you, it does a attack as well. Axe, you can actually tap and hold to charge your special attack gauge. Bow. Um, you can, it's pretty much the farthest weapon that you can use. <laughs> Boomerang, it pierces. So it's a range attack that also pierce. Um, and it hits forward and hits back, right? And then staff, we have normal attack gains MP. Flail, normal attack gain MP. So these are kind of similar, but they're different. <laughs> all right, gear. All the main stats pretty much start the same, just that the star level dictates how far they can be upgraded. Every four levels, you can get an extra bonus stat. Of course, if you start off with extra bonus stats, you have extra bonus stats that go on top of it. You have only a maximum of four of them. So if you actually upgrade more and you already have four, it would just increase the assisting one. And of course, when you're upgrading it, um, you get more main stat too. So that's great. <laughs> Yo, do you know about support allies? Because in the training dungeon, you can actually use support allies from your friends. So if you go here, if you go into support, I think this is the only place because all the other ones are kind of grayed out. You can actually pick someone to replace your last party member. So you can actually put like, it's not out there. And then it would actually get added here. You can run them with them. Um, so you can do that for all of them. And in order to actually set your support ally, you actually got to just go here, click on support. And then you can set your ally. You can set this for a particular element or it just be like me just put all of them and they just get Kevin because Kevin is my strongest unit. <laughs> so do you not have a healer? Just saying, do you want a healer? If you do, you do get a free one. If you remember Mr. Grumpy Boy over here, Honeycomb is a healer, but there's a, there's a thing you wonder about, right? The, the mana board, he's a Luna unit. 
and where there's no Luna dungeon in the dungeon list for training, right? So what you actually need to do is you can go to the shop. There is a Luna coin trade. There's also a Dryad coin trade. So there's no also a Dryad dungeon, by the way. Um, so all you need to do is run the Shade dungeon to get Shade coins. And you can get Luna coins with these. And then you just trade them here. So the same thing with Dryad. Dryad, I believe, used the, the light one. L Luma, Lumina. I always have problems pronouncing names. But yeah, you can go here and trade them. You've seen these scout quests, right? You're like, what are these? Right? So in every chapter, there's a scout quest. And in them, actually, you have hidden chest areas. Um, some of them have, may have two chests in one area. Some of them may have one. But there's chests in them. And they actually at least have 100 spirit crystals. Some of them can have Nitwit icons, Benevadon icons, uh, experience tombs. So make sure to get those. There's at least two sections of them. And you can do it for each difficulty. So you can come back and do on hard mode and then get another two and then normal mode, get another two. So make sure to come back. I do have some videos, so check those out. I'm going to do more as I go back and do them. Make a spirit. So based on my speculations, so on the top right, it's a circle, right? And it slowly fills up like uh, slices of pie. And once you get to a full pie, which is 10 points. So once you get filled with 10 points, it'll activate. And it'll activate depending on the element that activated it first. So on the top right, most top right of the circle is the first slice of the pie. So whatever that one is, it'll be that element when it completes. So the number represents the rarity of me the memory gem that's equipped on that character when it's doing the special technique. So my Kevin has a four star memory and my sumo has a three star and Angela has a three star. So every time they activate their special technique, it'll get added to the pie. All right. So each character has a specific title. Like you can see here, Guardians Resolve, Unwavering Friendship. They have different title for the same character, but they're actually different allies. I'll use the word allies because character is kind of the same thing. Um, so let's just say I have four star sumo, right? Four star sumo overcoming my farewells. And then I have another sumo that's three star, but that's a different title. So they're different characters. Swordsman starting out and they also have different stats, so different characters. So a nat four is different from a nat three. Okay. And it's too early, early for any tier list. So in my opinion, just, just play your favorites, man. <laughs> I'm playing Kevin. All right, so hopefully these tips help you out. Um, if you have any other tips and whatnot, please share them because I would like to know. And hopefully I don't know them, so it'll be a new experience for me. So check out my streams. I do stream on here and on Twitch and on TikTok and on Facebook. Uh, my social will be down below. And I'm enjoying this game, and I'll see you guys later. Later days. Uh, the manage memory gem, you want to make sure memory gem, and you want to also be in the same element. For uh, stat buffs. Level 10 Earth. He blocking? You need to pay good, bro. Do not attack. Is he just stuck there? Like, he's not moving. He's trying to walk, and he. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? It's What's going on? He's not even doing any attacks. What is this? Easy. Easy win. <laughs> Yo, just stun him. He's not even doing anything. I don't even know what it did. I do have YouTube. It's the same name. Yo, just, uh, if you're having trouble, just glitch the game. Forever chasing me.